Family and friends of Zach and Brittany, loved ones, you've gathered here today to witness the marriage of both of them together. Brittany, three years ago on this day, my life was forever changed for the better. When you walked up to the door on our first date and I saw your smile, I felt something that I never experienced. You are truly the most genuine, caring, and loving person I've ever met. Every day that I get to spend with you is truly an honor and privilege. Cliche thing to say would be that I can't believe we're standing here today, but that would be a lie. The truth is, from the day I met you three years ago today, dog watching on the patio of local cantina, bonding over our mutual love of chips and queso, I knew that this would be something special. I remember calling my mom and my friends when I got back in my car that night and telling them I had met my future husband. Since that day, you've been my biggest supporter, my friend, the best palm dad to Gru and Ella, and my personal comedian when I've needed it most. I vow to love, support, and protect you for the rest of our lives. Thank you for loving me through my imperfections and sticking by my side. I am honored that you have chosen to share the rest of your life with me. I love you, Brittany Taylor. I vow to love you on the good days and the bad days and all the days in between. I vow to cheer through your successes, to always tell you way to do it, and to stand beside you through everything this life throws our way. I vow to always be loyal to you, even though the loyalty to our diets totally sucks. I vow to stay weird with you, to try not to take life too seriously, and to keep embarrassing you when I dance in the kitchen. And most importantly, I vow to remember this day and the love we have and the love that's around us for the rest of my life. Brittany be your wedded wife to live together in holy state of matrimony with all love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live. I will. Brittany will I have Zach to be thy wedded husband to live together in holy state of matrimony will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health Forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. I will. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, this ring I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Zach, you may kiss your wife. Zach's been that for me, and I feel truly honored to be able to stand up here with him today. And Brittany, naturally, you look beautiful. I did have that part written down as well. It felt like it was a foregone conclusion. I usually don't go for the notion that everything happens for a reason, but I think your and Zach's relationship might be the exception. I think you came into Zach's life at the absolute perfect time. I just want to say congratulations to the both of you. I hope you look around tonight and take in this beautiful occasion and make just as many funny and meaningful memories as you and I have stored away. Brittany, you've found your actual other half, so I'm passing the torch to you, Zach. Please always treat her with love, respect, and for the love of God, feed her pizza and sweetest fish. You're gonna be fine. And ranch. And ranch. Congrats. Future unfolding.